Red Bull Air Racing the game is now in closed beta which I believe anyone can sign up for and if you go through the Nvidia website you can get a key pretty much straight away. So I thought it'd be interesting to jump in, download and have a look at the game and see where it's at at this point in time, keeping in mind that it is very much in beta. Loading up the game for the first time, it seems very clear to me that they're probably going to go for a free to play direction with this because it has that kind of interface that you see in uh, World of Tanks or, or War Thunder where you've got the, uh, the the credits at the top which you can either earn by playing through the game and then uh, I'm sure there'll be room for you to be able to buy credits with money to accelerate your progress through it. Uh, you start off with a, with a basic plane uh, and you then buy new planes, buy new hangars and uh, general upgrades to progress through the game. But as I say, it has that presentation that you'd expect from a from a free-to-play title that would likely have microtransactions. So I'll be interested to see what they do with that in the future. Um, bearing in mind that it is a beta, of course things like graphics and sound and all these things aren't really fleshed out at the moment. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised because I thought it was uh, meant to be coming out this year, 2016, and it does seem as if it's a little bit behind, uh, more in a sort of alpha state than a, than a beta state. It doesn't seem to me to be feature complete. For example, there's um, sounds missing, uh, th there's a lot of the graphical things that need sorting out. It's hard to say uh, if it's on track or not. I know there was there was rumours going around the internet that this is potentially being abandoned or the software is being shuffled around. And if you go on the Red Bull website, it looks like maybe they're focusing more on the mobile app than this game is uh, the, the game for this year to accompany the race series. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to stoke the rumour fire. But uh, as it is right now, it looks more like an alpha than uh, a sort of feature complete beta. So... Jumping into the uh, the plane, we've only had a chance to do the intro tutorial mission, which is just one of the standard Red Bull planes, and that has sound and, and works all right. Um, but then following on from that, we got the first plane, and we've flown that around. That's what I've predominantly filmed here, because I couldn't get back into the tutorial section uh, once we'd uh, gone through that. And uh, yeah, there's no sound on this plane at the moment, and there's lots of graphical glitches, and we couldn't get the graphics settings uh, right. Again, don't judge the game on that because it is—it's not—it's not a final game; it's a closed beta, so just just ignore that. Uh, what I am interested in, though, was the the handling, because obviously uh, with simulators or more realistic games, often the the physics don't don't tend to change that much because it's such a complicated and time-consuming thing to do. Uh, even when it gets to a beta, or even in alpha you don't tend to see that much of a drastic change and uh, at this point in time with the physics I'd say it's very much along the sort of arcade uh, type of flight if you were you know you're really into simulators and of course that's the focus of our channel uh, you're probably going to get a lot more enjoyment from the flight simulator x accelerator expansion that came out in uh, 18 bc uh, which is still a really good experience of you know really nice nippy agile planes really hard to fly and they've got the events and the structure and it's got all the features of flight sim uh, if you're looking for the sim thing that's a better route than this uh, this is definitely on the arcade side of things they've done a nice job though with it with the uh, the pilots if you ignore the graphical glitching that's going on visually it looks or, or could look really nice um the actual paths and stuff they've got in. The point system is really nicely done in terms of it tracking if you've gone through the gates properly and you get your, you get a nice feedback in terms of if you, if you hit the gate perfectly, you get some credits which then add up to your points. So it's quite satisfying to feel like you're progressing through the game gate by gate. Uh, if you miss gates in terms of slicing them like a lunatic or just uh, getting the angle wrong on them, then you get different deductions and uh, time added to your uh, to your run as as like in the real world so even though the flight dynamics aren't particularly realistic in my opinion uh, no as i say nowhere near as good as uh, flight simulator simulator x and then uh, definitely nowhere near as good as something like x plane 10 in terms of the subtleties of the dynamics uh, in terms of like an arcade approach it's got a little bit of depth to it the the gates are nicely done go through the events and then um, at the end of the event it tracks your score and puts you on a on a scoreboard uh, or you know a timing list so you can see how well you've done compared to other people uh, and that's quite nicely done so you sort of encourage to go and do the event over and over again and improve your time and see if you can do better uh, but for me personally as I say because the depth doesn't seem to be that I, I can't really be bothered <laughs> it's not got the depth in the physics to really motivate me to put the time into it unless that changes drastically after the beta now um in terms of other game modes that it appears to have, it's got, um, it seems to have a mode that tracks the uh, current 
Real World uh, Red Bull Air Racing. And on the website, it looks like they want to try and attach prizes to those events. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then if you want to do those events, uh, I think they're all done with the same plane and you can use your in-game credits to rent uh, the spec plane for that event. So everyone's taking part with the uh, with the same plane and is fairly, uh, you know, like matched up in terms of the, the, the times of the events. So all in all, um, at this point in time, as I say, it's very much seems more like an alpha or even pre-alpha than a beta to me. Um, lots of stuff missing from it. Potentially, I could see a, a people really enjoying it. I think if they, if they released it multi-platform, it would be fantastic as a, as a console release game, which would bring into question the microtransaction aspect. I don't know how that would operate on uh, on the different consoles. But I think if this was if this is uh, finished off and polished up and sold as a Red Bull air racing game with the different locations in it, uh, the, the going through the, the events with the structure... It's not, it's not bad, it's not a simulator, more arcade, but for, for an arcade flying game with Red Bull Air Racing, has the potential to be quite good, and it'll be, and it'll be definitely be really interesting to see uh, where it ends up in the, uh, in the future. So for now, I think that pretty much covers the basics, and gives you an introduction to the game and where it's at. Thanks for watching this, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, ask questions in the comments, I will see you in the next video we do, goodbye.